Dumb phones are making a comeback, you know. Well, it's because the internet isn't as fun as it used to be. <laughs> now it's like every post is like a written statement. Ads and ads and ads and ads and just doom scrolling the whole thing. And with the endless data leaks right now, like apps aren't that fun either. So yeah, it's pretty wild to find that a lot of people are feeling this and are running back to the old dummy phone or, you know, feature phone as they sell it. This was my dad's. I think this is from 2007. Well, the thing I'm actually gonna show you, a proper buzz around this, I like so many people have asked, right? The Nokia 5710 Express Music. And why? Because, I mean, look how big it is. <laughs> because, mate, it has built-in earbuds. <laughs> but before I can yell and scream about this, there's something else we've got to look at first. Growing up, my favorite phone was a Nokia 3310, like a lot of peeps. Well, in 2017, I nearly did a backflip, and I, cause they re-released it, mate, in a modern fashion. This is mine from 2017. It was my work phone. Self-employed people, please get a work phone. You can turn it off at 5 p.m. Business is closed. Yeah, I had to get this. So fun. And uh, I absolutely hated it. Like, first off, it doesn't hold a candle to the build quality of like the OG 3310 or even this. This is cold metal. It's like this heavy nuggety brick. Every button is really nice. Not all plastics are equal either. The original 3310 feels amazing. This is just... <sighs> this really was my phone. Look, Frank's always been the wallpaper. Press start unlock. That's classic. This is basically the same old tired Nokia OS that we hated back in 2006. Like, yes, back in 2006, I was sick of the- like, Look, it's the exact same guy. And it's my personal reason why I stopped buying Nokias, because I used to be a huge Nokia fanboy. They'd come up with all these dumb ways to make a phone look and then it was just the same guy under the skin. Every Nokia was the same. It's the same stinking idiot. <laughs> Nothing has to, it's always the same old OS. I actually think this one looks better. And this was much cheaper and it's five years old. But honestly, like a really good way to show the lack of progress on these is with the cameras. We're filming Frank on the 3310. How do you feel about that, Frank? You're on a nugget phone. It helps if you move. That's our right, next phone. Now we're on the nugget phone. Phone, Frank. Can you give us a lick for the frame rate? Just, come on, Frank, one lick. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. I've been, I'm nearly touching you. Give us a lick, Frank. Come on. You're not being very cooperative. Come on, Frank. Give us a 4K lick. Hey, g give us a good one. Come on, come on Frank, come on Frank. Your lack of participation makes me sad and angry. They suck so bad and they, they output 3GP files. I'll whinge about the OS more later. Let's get straight to the thing that you guys want. I mean, you knew this thing was gonna be a nugget anyway. Look at the forehead on it. You wanna know how good are these buds? They stink. <laughs> They're really muddy. They're just, just really like not wide feeling at all. So it's very narrow, muddy. I mean, better than just nothing but mids and tops, right? You know, most people are gonna put this in and go, ah, oh, it's something. And thanks to their bootleg AirPod design, like <laughs> these are straight up just bootleg AirPods. You can angle them inside of your head and you can tune them a little bit. But honestly, these are like $20 buds from the petrol station. It is fun. There is like a little stupid app thing, <laughs> you know? but they do seem to be just regular earbuds because like, you know, they'll flash that they're syncing with something. You know, like the first time I use it, I had to sync them and now it's been like pretty okay. Like when I take them out, it does actually go, you want buds, mate? And then, you know, but I think inside of this gargantuan forehead is just a regular cheap $20 set of petrol station earbuds just smashed in there. <laughs> I love the idea. Honestly, I love it. It means you've always got your buds on you. And if your phone is charged, your buds are charged. But how annoying is grabbing your AirPods and they're dead? Well, if your phone's charged, end the story, mate. But to sell kind of how much these stink, um, I don't believe they've got a microphone in them because I was using the <laughs> I was using these buds and tried to make a voice memo and um it didn't use them. It's got controls on the front which is awesome, play, pause, all that. Um, none of these work while the phone is like locked. So if it was sitting here playing music, that would do nothing, which is annoying. And the volume lag 
is outstanding. Like you'd be listening and be boo do 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 like that. <laughs> it takes like three seconds for it to register. The volume's just in massive chunks, like it's really, really primitive. So I got to winch about just the lack of UI progress and all this again, right? Because I, I think I bought this for about 70 bucks when it was new five years ago. You know, it's, it's actually like a nice slick design. It's cheap as all get out, but whatever. This guy is 150 bucks for what is like $20 earbuds in like a $30 phone because it ain't nicer than this. Oh, and look at this. It, Nokia 3310 has a headphone jack. The Music Express, no headphone jack. None. The overcooked advertising on their sites are good. Listen to music like, wow. When like the only way to use it is with crappy buds. No headphone jack. 150 bucks for this giant cheap nugget with the same crap they've been using since forever. And then most damning, there's no Spotify. There's no music streaming. Oh, you get Facebook though, but like Nokia, you, you couldn't collab with Spotify. Like, the amount of hype this phone has gotten amongst people going like, please look at it, it seems super neat. You know, along with the trend of people wanting to get away from smartphones, but people still love music and wireless buds. I'm not that nuts about streaming, I prefer just to own the music. Streaming could be really unreliable. But this thing is 4G, that's the point of these, is that they have 4G and they can hang out on modern networks. You know, a lot of really, really old phones, they don't work anymore. The signal's all been turned off. You're not gonna make the most of the 4G? Because, you know, the inbuilt music app or whatever in here is just cheap and nasty. Like, it's so clunky and not nice to use. And I understand that they're trying to do this really cheap. You know, a lot of these phones are for emerging markets and whatnot. But anyone who's really, really rough on it is not going to buy a sp bespoke wireless headphone thing. Like, really, if, you, if you're trying to save money, go and get an iPhone 6 from Cashies and a set of KZ earbuds. Boom! You are literally an audiophile compared to this. I don't see any development costs in here. Like, they couldn't even come up with their own earbud design. Understand, it has to be thick to fit the buds, right? I get it. I'm not complaining about how big and chonk it is. I, it just seems like half of its price is just because. Still using the old USB connectors. You know, USB-C has been out since like 2015. Like that's enough time to actually just put, well, how expensive is it Nokia? I'm getting really upset because I really like this idea. <laughs> I really do. But it's, it's just how dumb and cheap they've done it. Like they've blown it. Remember advertising of this was like, oh, it's got snake on it. Oh, remember that being a big deal? Mainly because it was the only game in our pocket. I hate this kind of snake. Like, I liked it when it was just right angles, simple, like perfect input. <laughs> like, don't try and reinvent the wheel. Let's see what junk this one's got. Oh, registered version of Tetris. Yeah, phone demos. That's very, it's very 2005. Ah! No, why is it so loud? Oh, God. we're safe. Bling, 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 blah, 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 bling. Bling, blah, bling, bling, bling. Bling, 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 blah, blah, blah. It plays fine. I wouldn't call it competitive. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to play a Grandmaster tournament on this. But if I was taking a poo at a bus stop and my, my bus wasn't for two hours, this would... This would do it. Racing attack. Blah, 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 bling, 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 blah. Blah, bling, 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 blah. Blah, bling, bling. Oh, gosh. This is baby's first racing game. Snake Zenzia. It's right angles at least, but the thing that made original Snake so good was just how tight the controls were. It was just perfect. Oh, do we have to play Blackjack? Oh, who cares? Oh, more games. Doodle Jump. Yes! Ah, oh, Now this is old school. Oh, I mean, if I was hiding under the counters of a petrol station to avoid paying the high price of fuel, this would do it. Crossy Road? This is so... adequate. We can have Crossy Road, but we can't have stinking Spotify! Save the queen? No, it's a king now. Oh, what? It shoots for me? Ah, oh, this really is a baby's game. 
Wow, this sucks. Gosh, makes Crossy Road look like a masterpiece. Oh, do I need to play like another clone of 1942? No! Whoa, hang on! What? This is aliens! The logo had a bomber! Look at this! They just sit there! This <laughs> getting a hit and miss vibe from these games. Look, look at the airstrike, and there's a bomber there. Last one. <laughs> oh, that's a good loop of music. And uh, yeah, it's literally a phone from 2006 uh, with 4G and no way of making the most of that 4G. I did a cheap phone video a little while ago, and like one of those nuggets had a YouTube app. You know, that Nokia, come on! Like, it, it should have a YouTube app, and it should have Spotify. You got Trash Book on here. I can't recommend it. It's, it's a pretty cheap, nasty brick, which ultimately I think is a brilliant idea. You know, with no headphone jack, it should be USB-C. Like, how expensive is a USB-C plug, really? Especially when they're making a whole new chassis anyway. I can imagine, like, converting an old one to USB-C would be a pain in the bum. But if you're making something new anyway... I think it's a brilliant idea, and I hope someone who actually gives a damn has a go at it and does something a bit better than this. So, yeah. Well... That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because my one dollar a month, I do it to videos. And before I tell you, you know, I've got Garbage Time, my other thing, which I swear I'm making videos for. I've got my float plane drum stream, where, like, you know, I yell at things on camera and play drums. But, you know, one dollar a month, mate, we got to keep the Nokia train moving. Speaking of fun Nokias from my youth, look at this thing. The 3200. Mm, it's so mid thousands, mate. It's gonna blow you away. Uh, I remember this being a really, really cool phone at school. And um, let's have a look and realize that it probably wasn't. <laughs> so thanks much, mate. I'll see you all next time. Wow, Frank saying hello. This is so rare. It oh, Frank, that's so active and a living thing of you. Normally you're an inanimate log. You've evolved beyond a nanimate log. Frank, I'm so, I'm so, no, no, Frank, don't. Frank, don't, this was good. Fra you can still save this. You've upset me greatly, inanimate log.